Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA in my new casita. Swivel, swivel, swivel. And we're getting it moved into, or I'm moving into it gradually. I say gradually, I mean, I am throwing away more stuff. I don't know, I mean, I'm telling you, I, I'm, I live in poverty and accumulate stuff. That's amazing, guys. I mean, you know, poor people accumulate stuff too, I guess. But having said that, what else? Hey, Google, good morning. Hello, Rusty. It is 7.39 a.m. Right now in 78611, it's 74 and partly cloudy. Today, there will be scattered thunderstorms with a forecasted high of 81 and a low of 71. Have a wonderful day. You too. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? The temperature in Bangor right now is 43. Nice and cool, you guys are cooling down. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Denver, Colorado? The current temperature in Denver is 38. Whoa! What's the temperature in Tucson, Arizona? In Tucson right now, it's 54. What's the temperature in Capitan, New Mexico? In Capitan right now, it's 44. Wow, what's the temperature in Alpine, Texas? In Alpine right now, it's 65. Tell us a joke. Why do fish live in salt water? Because pepper water makes them sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> you You're welcome. You shut up now. <coughs> good whiskey anyway what else can I tell you guys uh, moving sucks is all I can tell you and I've done it twice in two in a year and a half or less than well actually one year you know it, it doesn't seem like it's that much until you start you know you got to pick it up physically carry it over here which is not too far probably 30 yards and then uh, then you got to find a place to put it you know, and you want to get I want it all organized and all that so I'm really taking my time to do that it's a, it's a pain, okay? It is a pain. Anyway, I do like the casita. There's, you know, it's, yeah, is it, I have one viewer ask if it's perfect or something. No, it's not. It's got its flaws, but as compared to my coachman, it's a, it's a diamond. <clears throat> anyway, we had over a thousand comments yesterday, so there's no way in hell I'm going to get to them all or, or we'd, this video would last two days. So thank you very much, first of all, for all your comments. I do appreciate that. And for all your views and all that stuff. I know this is just a blip because I got the casita and it'll go back down to normal here in a week or two. And, and that, that's fine. <laughs> I say it's fine. I mean, this would be nice to ride the wave, but the wave doesn't last for all long. Uh, but anyway, what else? Uh, let's just start down. Roaming Raven. Roof ACs are not efficient with roof drainage. Love your enthusiasm for your new home. No roof AC on an RV is efficient, period. <clears throat> they are energy hogs and noisy. Wendell Johnson, seven eight, uh, Wendell Johnson, 78609, live your life like you want it, brother. I will. Don't you worry about it. That was my first video from, uh, from my casita. Anyway, Leon Smith. Hello, Leon. He says, Leon says, <clears throat> do not keep your black tank valve open all the time. Keep it closed and dump it when it's full. Then empty the gray tank to wash out the lines. If you keep the tank valves open, liquids will drain out and the solids will build up. When they build up enough, they will not drain at all and you will have a big problem. Well, guess what, Leon? I don't use the black water at all. Okay, in other words, I have that valve open, but all I'm doing is peeing in there and flushing it, okay? The, the, the other stuff goes in a plastic bag and goes to the trash, okay? So, and I'm not putting any paper down the toilet, so not a problem, okay? I understand what you're saying, and you are correct, but in this case, you're wrong. Because <clears throat> I'm not using it for that reason. But thank you very much for your input. Other people may need to know that. Sarah J, so nice. All the newest wood color that is the most popular, real or fake, is, is too dark. No, well, the reason they use that other stuff is because it's um, cheaper. It says, I get... You're enjoying what they chose for light color wood. Anyway, thank you, Sarah J. Dertrixa, hey, Dertrixa, the gates. The more room, the more crap. Greetings from uh, Germany. 
Yeah, uh, Dertrixia, you are absolutely cor correct because the more space we have, we, we, we have a tendency to want to fill up all those little empty areas, and we do it. This right here is a hairbrush, okay? And right there is a horseshoe, and it's in the right position. Got me? It's up, so y y your luck doesn't run out. <clears throat> Anthony Rowan. Hello, Anthony. Well done, Rusty. You're smashing it for great content. Enjoying it. Well, good, Anthony. I'm glad you're having fun. Don Bram. Bra Braham. Bram. Looking great. Just takes a little time to get organized. Yeah, that's the whole key. And, you know, a month from now, smooth sailing, okay? But, you know, you got to get used to moving around in the new, smaller space. And, uh, you know, going in and out of the restrooms a little different. And I got a little, you know, I'll tell you what. The best thing, and I'll go over these later again, but not getting a microwave gives you a lot more space. I promise you, that is a lot of space, and that door folds out. Makes a great place to put stuff when you're preparing foods and stuff. So that's great. But anyway, having said, we're mad. Uh, Wendell Johnson, the size, oh, that's something. Size, home. I need, damn, you're a lucky man. God bless from Southeast Texas. Well, hello, Wendell from Southeast Texas. This is Chris Donnelly. Every time I tune in, your trailer's getting smaller or your carport is getting bigger. <laughs> That's the truth, isn't it? You are correct on that, my friend. Yeah, but I'm, this is as small as I'm going to get. You know, actually, I did look at it and did have on order a 13-foot scamp. Would that have been a mistake? Yeah, probably would have overdone it there. Probably would have overdone it <clears throat> for living in, for camping at Brindle Gate. Great. Uh, David Hennert, congrats, swivel, swivel, Captain Swiveler. I, yep, thank you, David. <clears throat> Charles LL, you're funny. How about strange? Patricia Hawkins, you are right, Rusty. We collect too much stuff. That is a fact. <clears throat> Charles LL, again, he says, you're right, Rusty. We amass quite a bit of junk without even knowing that. Thanks for the insight. You know what it is? You bring it in one little bag at a time and set it around and when you get ready to move you got to take it out a big bag at a time uh anyway faye called her love it rusty yes yeah, so happy for you so happy you are happy faye well, yeah so far so good faye thank you al can i ask if the outside temp is in the upper 90s almost 100 how cool does the ac unit keep cool your camper what's the actual number temperature 65 70 thanks okay al the other day it was 94 and I had it on low cool, uh, pretty low actually, and it was uh, 72 inside the, uh, the camper. And that was using the roof AC. <clears throat> okay, now the, the, the window AC, I'll tell you what it is right now. Inside right now, of course the outside temperature is cool, but it's 74. I've got it set on 74. <clears throat> and it'll, be, it'll keep it 74 at 90 degrees. That little 5,000 BTU air conditioner in this unit, ah! Oh, so easy peasy, man. Doesn't use any energy either. You know, that's the deal. Uh, where are we at here? Yeah, so to answer your question, AL, the air conditioner keeps you cool in 100 degree temperature. No problem. <clears throat> Keith Meyer, why you turn it around? Because I wanted to, Keith. Bradley Baldwin, we are addicted to buying poop. So true. No, no, no. Well, you know, we're surrounded by advertising everywhere we go. You know, but the same guy again, listening to the cicadas buzzing out there. I imagine it is miserably hot and humid. Uh, actually, it's not. Uh, today, it's it's not miserable. I mean, I like it. I mean, it's not bad at all. It's Texas. I've been, I'm a native Texan. I've been living in Texas all, 73 years. I'm getting good at it. Thank you, though. Uh, where are we at here? Oh, Gene Ward, I nominate a name for your new trailer. Elsie from Lady Casita. LC equals LC. I see it. I got LC, L. Never mind. I got you. Uh, you like it? Well, then you can call it that, but I'm going to call it Casita. <clears throat> Thank you, though. Vegas Dave TV. Rusty, can I ask why you put this thing in? Okay, guys. The reason I've put my, my Casita in this position that I've got it in right now is because I wanted to. And not, well, actually, there was a reason. I'll give you the reason. The reason is all, this window right here faces where I can watch the deer in the morning. If it was turned the other way, it'd be facing at my wood pile. I don't want to look at that in the morning, okay? And the back windows, back where they are now, I can watch the stars at night. And I got windows on both. It's just wide open back there, man. And then on the cold days that are coming, ho oh, ho, baby, with my little electric heater on, could I read a book? Get down, watch the rain or whatever it's done. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cozy. That's what I like. Now, a lot of people may hate that. <clears throat> it says loading, loading, loading. 
Okay, loading, loading, loading. Add me some more comments, okay? Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Uh, David Hancock, Rusty quit accumulating so much junk. Also, Rusty, use my Amazon link to accumulate all that junk your heart desires. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. <clears throat> well, if you're going to buy stuff anyway, use the link to uh, uh, Amazon. Well, a lot of people aren't living in RVs, that's for sure. Uh, Vegas Dave again. Uh, Rusty, they make a whisper quiet roof AC air conditioner actually quiet. Uh, yeah, it, it would be, but it would be a waste of money and time to change that. See, I, I, you know, I'm just here. You know, I, I'm trying to skip the summers for a while, and so I won't be running the air conditioner that much. And it's not that bad. I mean, it's just that I'm picky. Uh, anyway, thank you. Sophia Anatolios. It's a myth anyone makes it into the 1% by working for it. You're, you're right. It's a myth. You make it into it or hold your place in middle class by working. One percenters can work if they enjoy it, but they have so much money, and money makes money. They generally only work because it's human nature. No, it's true. Money makes money. That's a fact. You can actually get to that point where your money is making more money than you can spend. A lot of people have done that, and once, you're, once they're there, it just starts to build, and that's the way it goes. I haven't got there. I don't care to get there. PJ Frog 10, thank you. Craig W. Hunt, enjoy my diesel pusher AC. And, you know, even my diesel pusher AC is loud, LOL. No, they all are. I'm telling you, I'm, it's no joke. They're all made by, there's only about two or three manufacturers that make them. And they are totally energy efficient. When this roof AC is running, uh, that meter out there, doo, 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 just spinning, okay? With the window AC, just barely moves. So I know what's happening. Amish Sailor, hey Rusty, how do you reach the controls of your window AC if it's outside your screen? You have to go outside. I have to go outside and move the tape and turn it. But I've got it set, so I, I, I set it the way I wanted it before I put it in and taped all that stuff. And guess what? I haven't had to move it. Joyce Barnett, great looking rig, but high prices. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, that's on the Luna tune, Looney Tunes. Uh, 66 block. We are bombarded daily by messages from every form of communication. Have to consciously ignore. Yeah, that's right. I mean, but we are... We're creatures, you know, we instinctively want to accumulate stuff because we we don't want to be without, you know what I mean? And it's it's perfectly instinctive. I mean, and, and the marketing people know it. You know, we want to hoard stuff for the bad times. And that's the way it is. Joyce Barnett says, it was, it was built just for that spot. Looks right at home. So glad that you are so happy. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome, Joyce. This is Brian Hansen. Be careful of that sewer hose, Rusty with the door on that side coming out at night and stepping over that sewer hose you might forget it's there well let me tell you what when i come out at night i go the other way okay that's off the patio that way okay just drop my speaker i got so excited i knocked my speaker off this is my expensive mic there it goes again it's trying to get away here it is there's my exp this cost i got four of these little hairy things for for uh i don't know for a dollar, two dollars, or cheaper in dirt, and uh, and then this little cable that plugs into the thing, uh, I don't know, dollar ninety nine. So I got about three, four dollars tied up in that. Uh, be okay. I won't. I will thank you, Brian, for your tip, safety tip. Patrick London, does your truck have a six or eight foot box? Six. Lillian Ballard, uh, there you. Lillian's back. I saw, but did not get a chance to open your messages. Uh, I, the, I, you can't send messages on YouTube anymore. Uh, and it says, and you will get paid. Okay, okay. Is that the casita I, I like? Yeah, the, that's a casita, Lillian. That is what I have been doing, cleaning out. Good for you, Lillian. What an explosion. Boy, I can't leave you alone at all. <laughs> yeah, I know. You leave me alone, I start acquiring crap. Sherry Robertson, love your casita. Congratulations. <laughs> she's must she's spelled it C O N Consita. Well, that's close. Then she gives another comment. Says I meant casita. Sorry, not a problem. I, I probably misspell a lot of stuff myself. And it's easy to do. You know, you just type in stuff in. Jack Gilliam. Hello, Jack. Uh, <clears throat> great camper. We watched your recommend it. Recommend. We watched you recommend the little snooty last year and ordered one. The casita is number one. Yeah, the little snooty. I liked it. It was okay. <clears throat> casita is number one. You did get what you you do get what you pay for, and anytime you still have to manipulate basics, makes me want to go. Mm, okay, 
CDL lady. Loading, loading, loading. What happened now? It, it completely went blank now. Why did it do that? Oh, there it goes. <clears throat> Here we go. Okay, Christopher Columbus. He's back. <laughs> he's back. Uh, yeah, but he's, it's Cave Columbus. $17,000 and no bathroom. That's on the Luna. Also don't like the fact every time I cook and prep that I'll be constantly batting flies, mosquitoes, etc. And that is a fact. <clears throat> You're right, Christopher. Handy camper. Awesome looking Casita Rusty. Me and my wife bought a Gulfstream 16 BHC about a year ago. And it's pretty cool. We we're looking at the Casitas at this time very cool little campers well, let me tell you they're, they're not very roomy this is a this is the biggest one they make 17 footer and uh, it's it, it for one person I'm telling you it's okay but for two you better get ready to rub butts because uh, they ain't much space <clears throat> hang on a second yeah the uh, <clears throat> I was gonna say the coachman has twice as much storage space space for half the price unfortunately it's uh, just not very well built or I'd have kept it uh, da, 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 da. It says Deborah Coleman says that's not bad, Rusty. It took me a week of purging. Thank you, Sensio, sense of style. <clears throat> uh, if that is a three-way refrigerator, they can make a, they can take a long time to cool. The freezer will cool down in about 20 minutes to start cooling down, but the fridge takes takes a while. Yeah, it does. <clears throat> I found that out. Thank you. And a, it is so cute how you how excited you are about your new home congrats enjoy well you know it's a big expense for me Bubba Fringman how you doing Bubba this unit seems like it would be this is on the new Lance this seems like it would have been better suited for you Rusty than the Casita the shower alone is worth it for someone as tall as you actually the shower it's not the height uh, that's a problem it's uh, it, it it's just small all the way around but it's okay I mean I, I'm used to man hell I've taken birdie bass in a Prius come on a horse bath or whatever you want to call it so you know you, you see if you guys are used to sticks and bricks home or bigger RVs where you got a big bath and stuff yeah this appears to be a hell of an adjustment but for me that's camped in a pickup and a Toyota Prius off and on for five or six years hell this is this is heaven I mean you know get out of here anyway Sandy Cole congratulations on your new casita uh, Bill J, here's one, Bill 1527, Bill G, I work in the estate sale business and we do clean, clean outs at the end of the sale. I know all about how much stuff people accumulate and save stuff for sale, donation, and dumpsters in that order. A lot of times we fill two 30-yard dumpsters just to get to the saleable items. <laughs> God almighty, I don't doubt that a bit. <clears throat> uh, Spirit Man Chuck. Rusty, you need a small Sears storage shed or maybe a small storage container or just run to the dump or just to run to the dump. Now what I'm going to do, I may, I may get me a little storage building just to put over in one corner of this uh, under the cover here uh, just to get stuff out of sight. <clears throat> uh, CDL lady, glad you're happy. A roaming raven left me uh, emojis. Uh, 365 RV living. We'll do about three more and then we'll shut her down. Hello, Rusty. How much are you asking for the coachman? The coachman, I'll take for, from anybody that's a viewer or subscriber, $9,500. Uh, I'm going to put it on uh, uh, Craigslist. I think I'll start at ten five. dollars uh, We'll see. But yeah, $9,500 is kind of the bottom for me. I mean, I, you know, if I, if I start going any lower, I start cutting into the bone. You know what I mean? So yeah, if, if you're interested, you, you can uh, 365 RV Living. If you're interested in the Coachman Clipper Cadet, you can contact me by email at rusty78609 at yahoo.com and we'll start working on it. Uh, this is Frankie's Fancy. I am completely in love with this one. That's a tiny home. It's too bad I couldn't get it delivered to California. <clears throat> I have a cute little piece of property all set up with sewer, water, and electric ready to go. Oh God, I'm in love with this one. Well, anyway, man, uh, you can get it somewhere or something like it. We'll do two more here. Russ, RV Freedom 37. We are addicted to buying stuff. Yeah, I dump stuff every year. No room. Looks great. My neighbor lives in a casita, which looks smaller than that. Maybe an older one. Don't know. Probably a 16-footer. They do make a 16. They used to make a 13. <clears throat> Rick Bowes rides. Rusty, do you, did you ever think you would get 
20k subscribers and growing no i didn't never never no no i i it's just this is all this is all riding the wave to me guys all new all new turf here's one more okay Rhonda's view yep i know it i just moved from a small house 880 square feet to a master bedroom suite in a mobile home it took months of selling and giving away stuff and still took days to move my next downsize will be into a smaller trailer rv well good luck and uh i, I wish you well with your moving but anyway guys <clears throat> hey google tell us a joke please I said, please. Hey, Google, tell us a joke. What do you call a gigantic pile of kittens? A meowton. Meow. <laughs> Thank you. Looks like we're stuck in a thank loop. Thanks for thanking me. Yeah, whenever that little light's on on top, those little ears are just listening. But anyway, <clears throat> the reason I confused Google Home device there, I said, tell it, tell us a joke, please. Okay, well, please, through it. That's it. If you just say, tell us a joke, it understands. So I'm being trained on how to ask questions by this thing, okay? But anyway, guys, from Central Texas, USA, this is Rusty78609 saying thumbs up. See the horseshoe? Thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye, bye, bye. Anything you want. But if you choose to buy anything and get more stuff, get it from Amazon using my Amazon link. I appreciate it. And what else? Uh, drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones. And it'll also help you lose weight. And that's good for you because you'll be full of water. You'll be, you'll be full of water and you won't want to eat the little snacky stuff. And then what else? Uh, take deep breaths. Breathe in real deep and hold it for a few seconds and breathe out slowly. Do that several times a day. Why? Because that lowers stress and lowering stress lowers your blood pressure and that's very good for you. What else? Stretch, stretch, stretch. Swivel, 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 swivel. <clears throat> exercise your body once or twice a day. And I've been moving. I've been getting a lot of exercise. And what else? Uh, stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head, okay? This is all yours up here. So stand guard. You know, build you an imaginary fence and let in positive. Accentuate the positive and eliminate the negative. And with that said, y'all have a good day and enjoy your life one day at a time. We'll talk. I'll post a video today, uh, probably one of the RVs from the RV show. I've got some of those left. And then we'll see what happens. Anyway, adios, guys. Bye-bye.